In John chapter 10, Jesus says, I came that you might have life and have it abundantly. If God came over to your place tonight and asked if you could go for a coffee and a visit, what would you tell him about your life, this life he meant for you to live abundantly? I have lots of things in my life that are a celebration of God's abundance. The sound of my kids laughing from their forts in the basement. Great friends who remind me all the time how awesome God is. Books to read make me a better version of myself. There are also some things in my life which don't feel very abundant or very great. Things like my habits of resentment and bitterness. Things like my irritation when I don't get my way. My struggle with depression. You see, God desires for us to have a life that is rich and meaningful and full. Not just when things are going our way, but also when they're boring, mundane, or hard. So it doesn't really matter whether we're sitting on the deck enjoying the sunshine, or playing out in the sun, or facing an illness, paying bills, or washing dishes. God wants to be with us, pouring out His grace, so that I'm not surviving my life, but really living it. This month, in October, the Archdiocese of Virginia is celebrating Reverence for Life Month. What would it mean for you to spend some time reverencing the gift of your life? I've done some writing about this over on the Archdiocese website, and I'd love for you to join me there so that we can share the experience.